Fellas, so you've been talking to this girl for a while, right? But never got any action. She texts you at 12 a.m., tells you to come over. You already know what time it is. That's straight booty call hour. So you know what you're going to do? You're going to run to the shower, get fresh. But as you're getting fresh, you start from your head to the toe. And as you go down, you notice, oh, man, I got the man fro going down. So what's the next step? You got to run to the cabinet and get those old rusty clippers that your grandpa gave you five years ago. You know what you're going to do? You're going to clip yourself. You're going to clip yourself right in the balls. And you know what's after that? You know what that means? You're not getting no action. So don't do it, fellas. I'm going to tell you what I did. I went online and I Googled what's the best kit to shave your balls because, I mean, that's what we do in 2019. We Google everything. And I came upon this website called Manscaped.com. And I found out they had a new product called <coughs> the Lawnmower 2.0. So, yeah, this is my experience on this kit, the Lawnmower 2.0. Now, once again, I said I went on that website, uh, Manscaped.com. And after I purchased it, I realized that I didn't know anything about it uh, except for what's on the website. I'm a person that likes to read reviews. And after I bought it, I went on Amazon. I do have an Amazon account in Prime, but I didn't think to check Amazon. And I noticed that it had a ton of bad reviews. And a lot of the guys or girls, whoever was using this thing on Amazon, were all saying the same thing. That they were getting nips, nicks, and clips from these clippers. It was clipping the balls. All of them were saying they had bloody balls. So I'm going to tell you what I did. Now, when you open this kit, you got your trimmers, you got your guards. I'm not sure what size it is. Um, and then you also have a charger. There's no wall socket, so you got to plug it up to a computer or something. Or if you have your own wall uh, socket, I mean, or your own brick, I guess you can call it, you can plug it up. <clears throat> You've also got this refreshener. Uh, I guess it's some type of solution to keep your balls clean. And then you got this funny magazine, this funny paper right here. They designed this paper for you to lay down to catch all your hairs, the pubic hairs. And, uh, read it, I guess, while you trim your balls. Well, let me tell you what happened when I tried it. I took it out the kit. I charged it up for maybe, I don't know, um, two hours or so. And the first thing I noticed, there's a paper in there that says, Slow down there, bud. Slow and steady wins the race. That lets me know, don't rush it. I mean, that's the sensitive area down there. You don't want to you don't want to tear your skin because it's very easy to do it. I'm pretty sure all of us have done it at one point in time. And you don't want to be going in something with bloody balls because it's not going to work, fellas. The girl's going to laugh at you, laugh at you, straighten your face and turn you around and call your best friend. So when I turned it on, not too powerful. Um, it doesn't have that loud noise either to scare you off. I mean, it's, it's pretty smooth. So I put it on my skin and, you know, I pulled my skin real tight and I gently went against the area. And I didn't have it directly on my skin with a lot of force. You know, I was very slow and very careful about everything. And, fellas, when I tell you I finished it, man, my balls were like baby skin. It was so soft. It was crazy. I've never had this feeling. Yeah, I tried different clippers from Walmart off the Internet, cheap $20, $30 clippers. And every time I got the same result. This thing works. It really does. It all depends on how you use it. You don't rush it, fellas. That's the main thing. So, <clears throat> I guess, all in honesty, man, you know, I want to make this a quick review, and I just want to say, I mean, this product worked very well. I didn't have any issues clipping my skin at all whatsoever, but once again, I tell you that I went very slow. I put some music on, and it probably took me a good 20 minutes. That's how long for me to get a very detailed and careful shave with everything. Uh, another thing that it also comes with is this gift card to NakedWines.com for $100. And I'm sure there's some type of fine print. Maybe you got to spend $200 and you get $100 off. I don't know how that works. But that's pretty neat. And then another thing, you also have your brush. You know, you definitely want to keep these clean. Brush it off when you finish using it. And if you fellas have any alcohol, everybody should have alcohol in their house. Not drinking alcohol, fellas, but uh, rubbing alcohol. You put a little bit on that. Put it back in your box. You're good to go. Um, but this is definitely worth it. Overall, I paid 60, I think 60 bucks for it on, on manscaped.com. The only thing that I did not like about this whole experience is when I bought it on manscaped.com, they made me sign up for a subscription with this, which was three months. It was mandatory. Um, so every three months, they're going to charge my car to, and send me another a refreshing or whatever this is called. Or oh, it's called Crop Preserver. Now, I didn't ask for that, but it was mandatory. However, they did have a fine print that I can cancel anytime I want to, which I probably am going to cancel, I would think, because I don't like nobody telling me what I got to spend my money on. 
But if I try this and it works really well, I guess I won't cancel. But other than that, fellas, I mean, this is this is definitely worth it. Um, I was surprised and I was skip, skeptical about using it too when I saw all of those bad reviews. But if I tell you for the 15th time, fellas, do not rush it. Don't speed. This is a very careful and sensitive area. You don't want to you want to nick your skin doing that. Because like I said, you're not gonna get any action if you're walking around with bloody balls. So that's pretty much about it. I would recommend this product. Um, and yeah, you know. So if you guys have any questions or comments, suggestions, or anything you want to talk about this, you know, leave it in the comments. All right, I'm out.